Fairfield could be hit hard by looming government shutdown with Travis AFB in city limits Fairfield, the city of Fairfield could take a direct economic hit from a federal government shutdown, with Travis Air Force Base inside its city limits, the community is bracing for a big loss if the government shuts down. The mayor is even checking to make sure food banks there are fully stocked in case the shutdown goes into effect. Charles Gilbert is a veteran who gets gas and groceries on Travis Air Force Base. Both could be unavailable if the federal shutdown goes into effect. Time equals 400 ms. greater than, I think it would impact everyone in this community, Gilbert said. You can get everything at the commissary and PX, tax-free. It would be difficult the way we live today, and the rising cost of living, very, very, very difficult. Fairfield Mayor Catherine Moy says her city has 125,000 retired veterans who rely on the base to get health care and food at discounted prices. Some of the things that we'll do is we'll make sure that our food banks are okay because there will be an increase in people who need them, Moy said. Travis Air Force Base is the number one economic engine in all of Solano County. A shutdown would put pay for essential employees on hold and force non-essential employees to be furloughed. Many would lose pay entirely. I spoke to Congressman John Garamendi about the shutdown talks. Steve Large. How much of this is theater versus a legitimate threat of a shutdown? Congress member Garamendi. Well it is certainly a legitimate threat. Garamendi represents the area and has seen past federal shutdowns last for weeks or months. This shutdown is clearly a major local problem. But it is also a problem for the nation and really for the world, Garamendi said. The eyes of the world are watching and waiting, and so are Fairfield's finest. Being retired military, you know, it would impact us, Gilbert said. Time equals 400 ms. Greater than all civilian and military personnel at the Travis Air Force Base would stop being paid if the shutdown goes into effect this weekend. Those deemed essential would still be required to show up for work.